Despite its picturesque coastline, San Diego is a desert. It's hot, dry, and stuck in persistent drought. But what if you could turn millions of gallons of this into crystal clear tap water? That's just what the engineers and technicians at the North City Water Reclamation Plant asked, and they're doing just that. We are testing the water purification process here at this plant. We take water that's already safe for irrigation and non-drinking uses, and we run it through this process. It starts with microfiltration. It's followed by reverse osmosis, which is an extremely powerful treatment process and removes 99% of what's in the water at that point, and then we follow it up with ultraviolet light and disinfection. In little under a half hour, torrents of water are passed through hundreds of feet of pipe. Inside, fine hair-like strands of microfilament capture contaminants. From there, a trip to a huge storage tank, a pass through the plant's reverse osmosis process, eliminating 99% of what's not wanted, and finally, an ultraviolet light disinfecting treatment, bringing, what the agency says, is a reusable source of water to a drought part San Diego County. The Sierras and the Colorado River, those sources have been um, less certain and less reliable over the last several years. We've had long droughts, they've come more frequently than in the past, and so this purification process will give us the ability to make our own water here in San Diego. Throughout the process, tours are available to everyone, including skeptics. While technicians monitor the system performance, ensuring the water's purity, and, hopefully, alleviating fears of those, like some at San Diego High, still hesitant about the water's source. I think that it's like obviously there's a need there for the water and even though it seems like a little gross at first I feel like it's like if the scientists say that it's that it's safe it probably is. We reach out to the public and educate them about the need and the purity and the reliability of the technology um, then they're able to make a lot more informed decisions and opinions of, of what they think about our program. If things go as planned, up to 33% of San Diego's water, about 83 million gallons a day, will come from sources just like this. For those thinking this technology is just a pipe dream, by 2035, when plants like this go online, San Diego will join a long list of places tapping into this unique water resource. These kind of facilities are also in Singapore, in Africa, in Texas, and um, Many other agencies around the Southwest are very interested in implementing their own similar facilities. So as San Diegans look to the sky for the final punch from a much-hyped El Nino this spring, they are more realistic about the need for a usable, alternative sources of water. I think people are a lot more aware of the scarcity of natural resources in general. Um, there's a lot more awareness about water supply and um, the need for it in San Diego. So I think that is all moving towards um, general support for this program. For San Diego High School, I'm Nicole Castillo.